So hiking. I think we can all agree that this is probably one of the few scenarios that is perfect for a horror encounter. Trapped outside in the wilderness with just a tent to protect me from whatever abnormalities or spooky shit is out there in the woods. So, it's safe to say it's not for me. Unfortunately, horror protagonists don't seem to think with this line of reasoning in mind. Hence, today we play Missing Hiker, a game about a man who is looking for his brother who just so happened to go missing when he went hiking and camping. Who'd have guessed? And it being a horror game, we are likely going to die. If this sounds like your kind of game, as always, there'll be a link in the description below. And make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Welcome to Missing Hiker, and let's get right into finding our brother, I guess. He's probably dead, let's be fair. Enjoy the video. December 11th, 1994. Here we go. Missing Hiker. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday, but he didn't because, you know, hiking, why would you ever go? I went to local police... They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Which is an absolutely terrible idea, but we're gonna do it. And here we go. And we're driving, okay. This is the real horror here, gentlemen. The fact that they have actually let me drive a car. Uh, I'm really terrible with this, especially on keyboard and mouse. I wasn't expecting to actually have to drive. But, yeah. Welcome to Missing Hiker. This is a game that, by the time this video comes out, it's probably going to be weeks after the game's come out. I've got just such a backlog recorded at this point. But it's a game I, uh, I've been meaning to get around to. I think it's the same guy who made Driving Home, which I never ended up playing because it was, like, really just not my cup of tea. But, uh, I saw this, I was like, oh, this actually looks really well made, so here we go. I don't know how much driving we have to do. I wish we could speed up. Oh, wait. Nope. There's arrows. I guess we have to go this way. God, if a cop saw me now, he would actually be like, what the fuck is this guy on? With this driving. We have a gas station up ahead. So, I guess we've got to go in and ask about our brother. Who is definitely missing. Because a horror-related incident has happened. I said it in the intro and I will say it again. Hiking is one of the prime things. I should park at the gas station and ask if they saw my brother. Yes, you should. Right here. E to exit the car. But yeah, like, horror games in general have some prime... Oh, I actually didn't park... Oh, yeah, no, I parked really badly. What the fuck? But horror games in general have some prime locations to, like, have their settings happen. And hiking is one of them. Alone in the woods with just a tent to protect you is not a good idea. I should probably turn this off. Someone there. Hello, how's it going? What do you want? I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this, especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look, man. I worked pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. That is fair. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. He's also a bit of a dick. But whatever. It's cool. I guess we have to talk to this guy and ask about our brother. Hello? Have you seen my brother? What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. Hmm. Yeah, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him. Have you told the police already? Yeah, I did in fact. But they said that they don't have the resources for a search right now. They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. We probably should have waited to the 48 hours and gone with the cops. Let's be fair. This is going to end in us dying horribly. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. 
At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. Or we could just leave. That works too. I guess we have to take this road with our flashlight. Okay, so there's a road behind the gas station. Can we drive up there maybe? That would probably be a good idea, right? We cannot. Okay. We're leaving the safety of our car to go on the snowy mountain pass where people have disappeared. This is a fucking awful idea, but let's do it. My brother, if he is still alive, better fucking appreciate this. Because I'm already kind of spooked, actually. Okay. Right. So I guess this is going to be kind of like a walking simulator until the last second where we then get, like, jump scared. I'm not sure. I watched a bit of driving home, so I kind of know how it ends. But... I haven't seen much of this as of yet. As said, like when this video comes out, it's probably going to be like two weeks since I've recorded it. Because we've got Dead Space coming up. We've got, well, my triple was coming up uh, as well. So I'm recording this like before my trip to Birmingham. Along, Oh, wait. My brother's tent looks entirely different. I should still take a closer look. Oh, there's a tent here. Hello. Anyone there? Any spooky people? Oh, hello. Oh, who the fuck are you? you? Scared the shit out of me. I scared you. I almost had a heart attack myself. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Nope, I haven't seen him. You Wait. You don't even know how he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing cold conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? Yeah, I'll search around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something, but last night I had my tent a bit up north, and I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. What? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know? Something for protection? You mean a gun? No, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up a tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. Is this, like, offering us a chance to just fucking leave? You know, we can just get the hell out of here? Oh, I don't think it is. All right, let's just keep going, shall we? But, yes, I'm recording this in a bunch of videos before the trip, and then afterwards we're starting Dead Space. So, I got a lot of a backlog right now. We still got all the next best demos. Uh, Resident Evil will be coming out in, like, a month? Two months now? I'm not sure. As well as that, like, there's just so many indie horror games coming out that I need to check. Oh, and Atomic Harris coming out, too. Jesus Christ. But, yeah. So, our brother is probably dead. You heard the man. Child's crying. Sounds like a cryptid. And we don't have a gun, which is a terrible idea. A very terrible idea. This is taking a while. I feel I'm about to get jump scared. Is anyone following me? Let's be fair. If I'm about to get snuck up on, it's not going to be from the path right behind or in front of me. It's going to be from the woods. And I'm not okay with that. Why are we even here? We could have taken the car, actually. Like, the car would easily have been able to make this trip. 
No! Oh, it's gonna make all this shit. Let's set my tent on the left side of the road. So over here. You need to place tent. There we go. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. Well, you better or you're gonna freeze to death, mate. Jesus, what a fancy tent. cold but i'm falling asleep slowly so wait does it mean it's gonna be daytime when we get up fucking hope so as i said tent doesn't really offer much protection from cryptids i think i heard some screams i'm not sure if it was real or imagined oh no how about we i need to check you can be my brother screaming for help but it's probably not let's be fair Oh god, here we go. Where is the screaming coming from? Light deeper in the woods? Ah, over there I can see, yeah, okay. And this is where we lose track of our tent and can't get back to it. And the monsters get us. Very likely. It's a cabin by the looks of it? I don't know. I don't like it though. We shouldn't be here. Moral of the story, boys, let's never go camping. Like, I'm never doing it again. At least not unless there's a group of ten guys and we're all armed to the teeth. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here goes my flashlight failing. Of course. That's my brother's backpack. He must have been here. Oh, no. The backpack is completely empty. Nothing is here. That's unfortunate. Ayo, hey, brother, are you in here? Let's be fair, you're probably dead. Why are all the windows barred up? It's like someone's designed the place not to be gotten into or out of. I don't like this. That's blood. And a meat hook. Okay, yeah, we're out of here. Need to inspect. What the hell? Someone made a picture of my tent and my car. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we are getting murdered. Oh, there's someone out there. Holy shit, who's this? I'm not opening that door. Fuck off. There's got to be like something in here we can use, right? It's hardly we just die. Although that's a meat cleaver. Can we take that? No? Okay. An axe maybe? No? Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. Your body was never found. I knew it was going to happen. I, I, I fucking knew it. I was like, I was waiting. I was expecting to get jump scared the moment we went outside, but no, it, we had to find the pictures proving that they were looking at us. But yeah, that was it, boys. That was a uh, missing hiker. For what it was, it was pretty good. The atmosphere was really well done. I love the VHS style effects, but I kind of already knew what was going to happen. It was one of those games where we were definitely going to die in the end. Again, and I will repeat this a million times, that hiking is pretty much the perfect setting to get killed in a horror game. So yeah, it was rather enjoyable though. I'm going to be keeping an eye on this dev to see what he comes up with next. Driving home was pretty okay. And this seems to be a step up in all the right places. So it seems like this guy's got a, a lot he can actually provide to the horror indie scene. So if you want to take a look at this game yourself or you want to follow the dev, links will be in the description below as always. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. It was... um. Again, a very interesting game. 
But that's really it. You've all been truly amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one.